Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Golden Kamui season 3 episode number 3. Okay, in the previous episode we got introduced to a new character. His name was Kansoku. And he like obviously like he went head to head with Sugimoto in Stenka. And uh, like uh, the first thing like the first thing that I have to say about that previous episode was like um <laughs> The comedy was as usually hilarious and also like we got to know that Sugimoto has this kind of thing like he gets uh, I think they're similar to fits like uh, you get like you see like he gets suddenly becomes uh, kind of like berserk uh, when like his cerebrospinal fluid comes out and uh, I'm guessing like this will be something which will like persist within him and uh, i think at that time he becomes a lot powerful because previously like when he was having the match with gansuko officially like gansuko was too powerful he like slapped him out like a fly but after like he suddenly become became berserk he like he single-handedly like defeated gansuko so like i'm guessing like that kind of makes him a lot powerful so it will be kind of like a double-edged sword uh like yeah so let's like we'll probably see what happens to that and how he controls that or whether he will be able to control that or not who knows so yeah and uh, I, I really liked Gansuku the character Gansuku because he reminded me a lot of Ushiyama and he like he is quite uh, what can I say kind of kind hearted in a sense and he seemed like a good guy so I don't know if we probably will get to see him later or not but I really really wish that we get more of him in the future episodes so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with episode number three of Golden Kamu season three okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Craft of Fox Oh Hmm Yeah Sitten Pekamui Oh Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Wait, wasn't... Wait, wasn't Wilk a foreigner? Or am I like... Forgetting something. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Oh, so that's why he was like Russian in that sense. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Excuse me. Hmm. Oh. Damn. Yeah, 
Yeah, but Will kind of said that he did not kill them. Oh, he said that to Sugimoto only. Okay, I forgot that. Oh boy, there. I, uh, Kirank is manipulating her. I think in some ways. I don't know. Okay, that's why. Yeah, he kind of, like will kind of said that uh, I want to see I know otherwise I won't say anything. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ashripa is like the key and the tattoos are like the map. Like even if you have the map you can't do anything without the key. Hmm. Oh, she lied to him, obviously because he's like obsessed. Oh my god, what a great. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I feel bad for laughing at this but uh, um he <laughs> I'm sorry. I I can't help but laugh. Um he doesn't have a hand so Oh, yes. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> this guy's amazing. <laughs> Doraemon's. Oh my god. Doraemon's gadgets. Yeah, what does this do? Like shoot out farts or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, what? Wait, what? Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god, these guys. Okay. Mm, yeah. Hmm, okay. Yeah, he is kind of correct, like, you have to, like, control this. Army prison. Oh, he was like a... He was a prisoner? Damn, he looks good, like, Surumi.
Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, no. Damn. Yeah, like... Oh... Okay. Oh, boy. That's why he was a wrestler, I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, was it really his? Like, why did his dad do something like that? Okay. Mitsubishi. Oh boy. What? So she is alive. Oh my god. Okay, so Cut her hair off. Wait a minute, so like none of them was at fault. Oh 
Yes. So this is how like he he was like Well, then you have to learn it. Oh my god, why are the eyes so weird? <laughs> Wait, how does he know? Oh, so he he lied. Okay, so like he lied to like. Yeah, yeah, okay. To like break him out of that. To give him some, some kind of closure. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, so his dad was at fault. Oh, oh, no. oh, so this is how, like he got his cranium blown off. Damn. Damn, this guy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this was... Is this Sugimoto? Oh, no. So, oh my god. So his friend was also like... So, oh boy. Too convenient. So what happened actually? Okay, oh. Okay, so all right, so Yeah, people would like easily pin the blame on him. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Why is that guy like listening in? Okay, why was that guy listening, like, peeping on them? Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Damn, hats off to this guy, man. Like, like whatever his like final goal is, I don't care. Like, he is like an amazing character. That was like an amazing backstory, and that was just. So good. Uh, is this the first time we're hearing this ending, or no, no, no? We we saw it, uh, we heard it in the previous episode. Yeah, I was confused. Like they're not showing the visuals, so.
Like, this anime is so criminally underrated, like... Oh, boy. Is that the end? Yep. That's the end. Okay, yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. This was, like, great. And... Uh, like one thing that I think they did is they did not rush it like it was extremely normal paced and extremely like well paced and uh, Like I've not read the manga, but uh, I don't think like they rushed it like usually like I, I've seen in a few animes uh, Like when it comes to flashbacks and everything they kind of rush it and try to like quickly get on get on with it but uh, like <laughs> Watching this episode. I don't think they rushed this uh, one because it was like extremely well paced and uh, like I had a really pleasant time uh, <coughs> like uh, watching the backstory whole backstory and wh like one thing uh, I have to say like in season one uh, Tsukishima uh, he barely had screen time uh, like a little he had a very little amount of screen time even uh, Nikaido had more screen time than Tsukishima and uh, at that time because he was so generic looking uh, i thought he was maybe like one of those characters like those sub side characters who are always there but we usually now do not get to see more of them i thought he was like one of those characters but in uh, season two his uh, role became a lot more prominent and now he's one of the like uh, main supporting characters so i never expected this at all like like his uh, character design is so simple and like so like normal that uh, I never thought that he would become like one of the main supporting characters and uh, yeah that was actually really surprising in, from the second season only and uh, <coughs> yeah and another thing is that uh, so from this like backstory uh, <laughs> So we do not know what actually happened. So as far as I understood, the main thing happened was that um, like uh, Tsukishima uh, went out to war and his uh, like dad had kind of like a bad reputation in the village. Uh, Tsukishima went out uh, for, for the war and like he uh, told that girl that I'll be back and you will wait for me. And then after he came back, he got to know that uh, the girl uh, had probably killed herself and the reason was most probably uh, his dad uh, told her that Tsukishima had died and so that was the reason I'm guessing and that was what he got to hear from the villagers now the actual thing that happened I I still have no clue what happened and I don't th think that they like explained it uh, that they even explained it in this episode but like then like uh, he like uh, beat up his dad and killed him without even knowing what actually happened and he got arrested Sukish, uh, Surumi uh, came in listened to his uh, like story and he like pulled a few strings because he got to understand uh, talking with him that he had like given up on his life because obviously like his uh, like the girl is dead and he like he has no like motivation or anything to keep living he had given up on his life so so and he wanted uh, to, Sukish, live, uh, to make Tsukishima live and because he was obviously a great soldier uh, and a great person so he like pulled some strings and like uh, took some hair and uh, the, took the bones and uh, buried it under uh, his like dad's house told the villagers that this is what happened his dad uh, killed and uh, buried the bones and and by this he like like there's a lot of things that Tsukishima uh, like Surumi did here like he played everyone like like he, he did that and cleared his like uh, like uh, what can I say his um, sentence that he was going to the trials and everything that he was going to go through he kind of like uh, lessened it and people thought that yeah because his father killed him he had must have like uh, gotten angry and killed him out of uh, like anger and rage and also his dad did not have a good reputation so people easily believed it 
he said this story to the guys like to the people in the village and made sukishima's like uh crime a bit less tried to, to make it a less then he went to uh, sukishima and told him that i uh, told him a completely different story from the villagers he told him that um uh, like uh, some like people came and uh, <coughs> and uh, took him like took her to tokyo uh, after she learned that uh, sukishima had died and now she is like in tokyo and i went there talked with her and did not say that you are alive but uh, after uh, learning that i was like the commander uh, she gave me this hair because you liked it and told me to uh, put it in your grave and i like uh, after learning this i uh, come came here to give you this and then he like uh, boosts his uh, what can i say uh, like boosts his uh, uh, boosted his um, uh, yeah like his spirits by saying that uh, you killed your dad but like even though your dad was kind of like a scummy guy he was extremely bad at the end you kind of used him to like uh, used him and like you should forget that and you should like live and like at the end your dad kind of came in like came into use for you as and so like by this he made uh, sukishima uh, regain his uh, like uh, will to live and <coughs> told this lie sukishima so believed it and like seeing that the girl is alive now he regained his will to live like so like he he like told these two lies to two different party and made it like completely like believable for them and it was like good for both of them both like both good for the villagers and good for uh, sukishima as well like sukishima regained his will to live and uh, obviously like sukishima got to know later on from that guy that the other guy that uh, uh, surmil had lied and like um, um, the girl actually died and uh, sukishima did stuff like that and then like we saw sukishima confronting surmil and asking answer me like uh, told everything so uh, now the question is like so like what actually happened like the thing that we could understand like uh, his father did not probably kill her as far as we un like got to know because surumi planted the bones uh, himself so like that does not prove anything and uh, the only thing that we know is that the girl is dead that's the only thing that we know how did she die and why she died no one knows so this is kind of a mystery i i, I think and no one knows what actually happened and, but one thing i am quite curious about is i did not get that portion like was there some kind of a symbolism or something is that uh, the guy who like told uh, surumi uh, stuff like like uh, oh no wait a minute just a sec that guy like the guy who said that uh, uh, you were like uh, from whom uh, surumi uh, sukishima got to know that uh, surumi lied to him like we saw him uh, like eavesdropping on their conversation now now i don't understand is why was he eavesdropping like what was his let me just take that portion again like he, we see him eavesdropping and surumi like saying that i'm glad i was able to hear your words from you and like pats uh, uh Su sukishima's head and that guy like goes off and i'm uh, like i think like uh, surumi saw that guy it's dropping so now here's the thing that like here's like just something that i am thinking that was did surumi know that that guy told sukishima this like was this also one of his plans like i am a bit confused over here like why was he eavesdropping so like was that guy also planted by sukishima uh, surumi to like say that and then even if like that was like one of surumi's men then why did he like tell stuff like that like like that is one thing i am a bit confused about like uh, like why was he eavesdropping otherwise like that's the only thing that i can uh, think of that maybe this guy was also like one of surumi's plans 
like he did something like he told him to yeah just uh, spill the beans to uh, Sukishima and he knew that uh, Sukishima would probably come and confront him about this like was this also his plan like this is one question I have I think like that was also like one of his plans I might be wrong if it was like uh, his plans one of also one of his plans the thing that he spilled the beans then Surumi my man like he he played each and every one and got what he like wanted and like he did it like in a very what can I say non-harming way like he like like if Surumi like let's be honest if Surumi was not there Sukishan would probably like uh, have lost the will to live and he would have probably like went to his death willingly but he like boosted his morals and made him uh, like stay alive and that's the main thing that matters and also another thing that I saw like we saw like uh, when uh, Surumi like covered uh, Sukishima and help like uh, the like that cannonball came in and like Sukishima's uh, and Surumi's head blew blew off uh, at that time when like they were like trying to like find some sh uh, sh uh, sled excuse me sled uh, the other guy was uh, Sugimoto so I'm guessing like the guy who Sugimoto was taking uh, trying to take to the hospital was most probably like his friend like uh, the guy from the from season one whose like wife is um, like who's uh, who wanted to like give his wife like money or something like he told uh, Sugimoto to take care of my wife if I am dead uh, and so I'm guessing like it was that guy and uh, 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 Sugimoto said that uh, he like he it is too late for him so you should probably like uh, give priority to the one who uh, will live so like he gave the sh sled to them and that is also like the reason why uh, Surumi survived so like er everything is like interconnected in some way and uh, yeah like that was like an amazing backstory and uh, again uh, okay so that was the thing with Tsukishima and Surumi and that was like an amazing backstory uh, if I'm wrong about something like if I'm misunderstanding something about especially about the last portion where like the guy eavesdrops and stuff uh, please be sure to correct me down in the comments without any spoilers and uh, yeah and I've, like that was the main portion of the anime uh, episode otherwise there were a few more things like we got to know that uh, like the thing with the Karf to Ainu and what happened and uh, like uh, Wilk was like part of them and uh, because they were like living in like uh, kind of like a gray zone uh, like Wilk was like taken away or something like stuff like that happened and obviously like uh, uh, Kiroranke and Ogata they are like like everyone wants Ashiripa because she has the key to everything like even Hijikata and everyone wants uh, Ashiripa as the key because of the iron gold and even if like they get the maps that is the tattoos uh, you can't do anything if you don't have the key so yeah and uh, like also like another thing is like we got to know from Wilk himself that he did not kill the Ainu so like then who killed them like that's also another mystery like he told Sugimoto before he died that I was not the one I did not kill them and like stuff like that happened yeah and then like uh, like then we have like a thing with um, Yohei that is like uh, Nick <laughs> like <laughs> he does not have a hand and then that was like a funny portion and <laughs> yeah that was quite funny <laughs> like he gets a new hand again like uh, when he like lost his leg he got a new mechanical leg and now he has lost his hand and he has got a new mechanical hand which has compartments to store chopsticks how nice <laughs> my god <laughs> oh boy and then after that we get the uh, backstory and that was like uh, an extremely well done backstory and like, we get to see well, like what actually happened and why like uh, Surumi's head is like in the like uh, now, like how why is Surumi's head injured like that? Like we get to know the main thing that happened. 
and Surumi like I have to say Surumi looked quite like amazing <laughs> like he still looks good but previously like his uh, like his hair his especially his eyes and eyebrows and that mustache damn like he looks <laughs> he looks so good <laughs> okay um yeah and like i have to say like like whatever his main goal is like um as far as i understood his main goal is like to um <clears throat> for like uh to continue war as wars or something i i'm guessing and like uh, i forgot i forgot and it like it was uh, told in the first season like so i forgotten it a bit but his main goal is to kind of like make new guns and stuff and like continue the wars uh, something like that and to like like to make a uh, military uh, like a uh, controlled place or something like that his goal is uh, i might be wrong or i might be mistaking something from the first season but i think that was like his goal like whichever his goal is be it good be it bad he is like um uh, like like an amazing character and like uh, the way he did stuff like he wanted the good for sukishima and even though like uh, i'm guessing he did those stuff because he had value like sukishima had value in his eyes <clears throat> in the sense that he was like an amazing soldier so even if even if that's the case like he like risked his life for him and like helped him to break out of that uh, phase of his life so yeah he's a good guy like uh, like uh, even if like he is i don't know if his goal is good or bad i am not like judging him by that but by this episode like hats off to him like he's an amazing character whatever you say so yeah so yeah that guys that was this episode this was episode number um 3 of golden kamui season 3 Uh, I enjoyed this episode a lot. This was like a well done episode, uh, a great way to like uh, tell a backstory, and it was like engaging and everything. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to sh uh, you want to share. And if I'm like wrong about something in this uh, ep episode, like qu there were quite a few bits which was a little bit. like uh, mysterious and confusing if i am wrong about uh, like something some uh, or like i'm misunderstanding something please be sure to like write me down in the comment section without any spoilers so yeah guys that was it so thank you guys for watching i'll be back with a new golden kamui episode next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day